Hi, YouTube family, HCG family. Um, it's me, Journey167. Today is round one. It's a new start. Round one, P2, VLCD2. I just wanted to check in and say hello. Um, this helps me tremendously just to... Um, to get responses from you guys and to know that you're listening to me and that you have some of the same challenges that I have and that we are on this journey together. I've gotten a few messages from some young ladies who are inspired by me and I I desire to be an inspiration. Um, and you'll see me disappear when I mess up. I disappear because I hate letting people down. I can so tell you the truth, but I will lie to me in a minute. So I just want to switch that around and take better care of myself. Um, just do a better job of loving me as much as I love the world around me. So um, today has been um, a good day. There were some challenges, though. I, I wanted chocolate. I really, really wanted some chocolate. And I'm not a candy eater. I mean, I love I love sweets. I love desserts. I like to bake. Um, all those things, but I'm not really a candy eater. The only candy I love is chocolate, and I usually only have those the desire for it, you know, when I'm PMSing and Tom is here. Well, at 46 years old, Tom kind of comes and goes when he pleases. <laughs> I don't, it's so unpredictable, and um, I, I can almost predict the um, the first day where I need to go to the store and grab some things, you know what I mean? But I can't predict the PMS. The PMS is what gets me, not so much the um, the extremely heavy flow and all of that. It's the PMS. PMS makes me cuckoo. <laughs> it really does. Someone posted, I just started crying for no reason at all. And that's what happens to me. It, it doesn't have to be crying. It could be frustration. I could just start screaming at my husband because I don't like the way he smells. You know, I just, I really want it to be over. I thank God for the fact that he made me a woman. But oh my goodness, when I get to heaven, Eve and I are going to have a few choice words because she did this to me. <laughs> Um, so anyway, I don't know if I'm PMSing or not. I, I can't remember when I had my period last. I think, I think it was about two and a half weeks ago, which means I'm about to start PMSing and Tom is about to come and all of that, which I hate, but I promise me, I'm not promising you. I won't lie to you, but I, I want to stop lying to myself. I am not going to let Tom and the residual effects of it derail my program. There are ways around it. And I found one today. So I wanted some chocolate. I really, really wanted some chocolate. And there were a few Atkin bars, Atkins bars in the kitchen. And um, there was a chocolate bar that my husband had bought. And I know I can't have that. I lost five pounds yesterday, by the way. I woke up this morning to a five pound release and only 3.4 of that was um load so 1.6 on my first day what i am not messing up so anyway what i did was i got some coffee folgers um classic blend and i i got just a teaspoon of that a teaspoon of um cocoa powder um, some Truvia and some um, French vanilla drops. I forget the brand. You know those little flavor drops that people put in their water and stuff. It doesn't have any calories or anything. It just adds that particular flavor. I have it in peach that I put in my tea and vanilla and butter and every flavor you can imagine I have. Um, just to make things taste a little better. So I put some French vanilla drops in it. And what else did I put in it? I put in a teaspoon of coconut oil. And coconut oil gives it that thickness, that creaminess that milk or cream would give your hot chocolate. And it, it's not so watery and it tastes so good. It just, it really did taste really good. I didn't even drink it all. I didn't, I didn't need to drink it all. I just needed to satiate that desire right then. So there are ways around 
the frustration that we feel when we when we think there are no alternatives to cheating when Tom is knocking at the door or doing crazy things to us um, emotionally. So here's my favorite water. Italian San Benedetto natural water. I've had two of these so far, 50.6 ounces. I've had two of these so far. It's about quarter to five, so I'll have one more before I go to bed. So I'm trying to get in my 150 ounces every day. And I still have some um, edema, um, still not wearing any rings. Um, my feet are not as swollen. My ankles aren't so bad. I can see the veins in my feet again, whereas yesterday they were just like I had elephantiasis. But, um, yeah, I feel good. I feel good. I feel really good. And I think today was a wonderful example of how to make the protocol work for you. So I don't feel like I cheated. I didn't cheat. Um, I just did what I needed. And and that's that's kind of what I want to say to you. You can do it. You absolutely can do it. I am a living witness that you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Um, I encourage you to drink water. What I've learned, and people have said this to me before, but I, I thought, yeah, right. Um, they said sometimes you're not hungry. Sometimes you're actually thirsty. And I'm going, I want to eat. <laughs> um, but what I did was before my meal, I drank half of that bottle. After my meal, I drank half of that bottle. Um, when I had this craving for a chocolate, I drank almost a whole bottle. And it, it really did sort of um, lessen the desire for it. And it, it gave me an opportunity to think about an alternative, um, vice cheating. You know what I mean? Um, I don't think I'm going to go for a walk today. Um, unless my husband's in the mood, I am committing to every other day. Um, but I enjoyed, I enjoyed the walk yesterday. It was nice. It was just a leisurely stroll. No big deal. Um, probably 3.25 miles per hour at the most um, because we did a 5K and a 5K is just about 3.2 miles and we finished in just under an hour. So it was a leisurely walk and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed spending time with my husband and being outside in Germany is just, it's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful place. So anyway, I just wanted to check in and let you guys know how I'm doing and to encourage you, to encourage you to stick to it every day, every day. Don't think about, um, oh, what am I going to look like for the holidays? I have a tendency to do that. I have a ball coming up on the 26th and I want to look good in this dress. Let me show you my dress. I want to look good in this dress, okay? I want my waist to look snatched like that. <laughs> but um, I have a tendency to, 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 to work toward a thing. And then that thing loses its power and my work is just for naught. I, I lose the desire to do it. So what I'm committing to is a daily renewal. Um, I can't think of the scripture right now, but... I need my mind to be renewed on a daily basis. I, I, I am thankful for being in my right mind on a daily basis. I need a renewing of my mind on a daily basis. And if I can just stick to that, those days become weeks and those weeks become months. And before you know it, I'm a size 10 again. <laughs> so anyway, happy releases. Cheers.